Good day everyone. I'm up here above the cloud forest on one of the mountains of Parana. What a lot of people don't realise is Brazil actually has two rainforests. I mean, there's, the Amazon rainforest is the one that everyone knows. It's the largest forest in the world and covers the northern half of Brazil and large parts of Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador and Colombia. And the same forest um, uh, extends north into the Orinoco Basin in Venezuela and the Guiana Highlands in Guyana, Suriname and Guiana Francaise. But Brazil has another rainforest, which in Brazil they call the Mata Atlantica, which translates as, as the Atlantic Forest. And it once ran in an unbroken band of some 2,000 kilometres from Recife in the northeast all the way down to near the border of Santa Catarina and um, Rio Grande do Sul. Nowhere was it more than about 150 kilometres wide and it's been separated for millions of years from the Amazon rainforest by a band of dry scrub and savanna. So it actually has a lot of um, a unique biodiversity to it. I mean, as an example, the, the lion tamarins are only found in the Atlantic forest of Brazil. But of course, the Atlantic coast of Brazil is where Brazil as a modern state started and so with sugar and then coffee and later cattle and mining. The Atlantic Forest of Brazil is now one of the most endangered rainforests in the world and it's down to only about 5% of its original area and even less of that in a good condition. One of the largest blocks of remaining forest though runs along the, the coastal mountain range, the Serra do Mar in um, the states of Sao Paulo and Paraná and that's where I am right now. A, back in 1885, they built a train between Curitiba on the highlands and uh, Paranagua on the coast. And it's still used today to move freight and I saw it moving natural gas yesterday. But it's also used as a tourist train and it's one of the tourist attractions of Curitiba to do the jungle train. And I think I've known about the jungle train as, as long as I've read about southern Brazil. But I'm not going to pretend that I'm into trains. I mean, even, even my nephew Andrew would know that I'd be um, gilding the lily a bit there. But what the Curitiba to Paranagua train does offer is the option of getting close to a block of Atlantic forest that has no other access. And I was even more excited last week when I found out that there's a, a station, Estação Murumbi, beneath the mountain of the same name on which I'm on now, which is completely surrounded by the park and um, you can get off the tourist train there and then catch the next train the next day down to the coast or um, as I'm intending to do catch it back up to Curitiba. So I've been enjoying getting, getting up here into the mountains. It's, um, it's probably going to be my last adventure though because I've got this bloody uh, wound on my leg that just won't heal. Went swimming with the dolphins and that was a bad idea and it got infected again and I've been chilling out in Curitiba and thought it was better and now I'm up here and it's not even wet but I mean it's obviously humid and I'm sweaty and it's, and it's looking dodgy again so I think after this um, jaunt, presuming that I make it down to the down to the bottom, okay, I guess if you're watching this video it means I was successful, then, um, then it's just going to be cities and laziness from now on. Either that or I'll have to get my leg amputated at some point. Hope everyone's doing well um, and I'll see you I guess on the other side of Carnival in Rio and and a weekend in Buenos Aires. Cheers.